Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's Journey. There's a lot we're going to be doing in today's video. We are getting ready for the winter, winterizing our outside, putting away the patio furniture, covering it. I'll be doing some cleaning outside, cleaning up a lot of real life messes inside, and just getting it done. I hope you're ready. We are going to get this done together. Hey guys, welcome back to Jamie's Journey. If you are a returning viewer and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are all so glad you're here. This community is absolutely amazing. And if you are new here, everyone will welcome you with open arms. But I am so happy to be back. I feel like it's been forever since we've chatted. I think I told you last week, last week was Thanksgiving, so I had filmed last week's video ahead of time. So I don't think I've filmed or edited a video in almost in over two weeks. The twins were off of school all last week. Avery was in school Monday and Tuesday. Mike had to travel for work. So I wanted to get everything done ahead of time just because with the twins being home and then Avery being home one day. So, you know, we also wanted to just get ready for the holiday. It was our first year hosting in the new house. So a lot that um, we had going on last week. So it's been a while and I've missed you guys. And just thank you for being here. So there's a lot we're going to be doing in today's video, just the normal around the house cleaning. And then I, this is long overdue. We have been waiting to go outside to kind of winterize the outside, um, put the patio furniture away, make sure it's covered because snow will be here before we know it. In fact, I mean, it did snow this night before, but we just got a dusting. So before the big heavy snow hits, we wanted to get everything cleaned up put away i still had fall stuff on the front porch i was going to decorate for christmas my fall or er, for christmas on my front porch but to be honest i just didn't have it in me this year i think this first year being in the house it's like there's so many firsts you know we had to buy new decorations for you know the different seasons and it just ended up being a lot and i'm just like you know what we can have a bare front porch for this year next year because i've already had the inside of my house set and settled for the holidays and next year I can focus on the front porch so it's pretty bare this year but that's okay it's freezing cold outside people are just driving by so it's no big deal um but yeah so that's what we're going to be doing the main thing we're going to be doing but there's just going to be a lot of cleaning especially after sickness we're all getting over a sickness so I'll be also doing that as well
so it has been a crazy week over here you know I always try to be positive but I'll be honest with you it has been a very very rough week for a variety of reasons I'll go into some of that um, when I talk about the good part and bad part to my week or the high and low point to my week but it's just been a, a not so great week to be honest with you and we're nearing the end of the week my video will go up tomorrow you guys will hopefully be watching this on Sunday so I'm filming this up it has gotten better the throughout the week the weekend but man I am ready for this week to be done because it just hasn't been a good week so if you're having a tough week or couple of past couple of weeks have been tough hang in there we're in this together not every week is great and I'm just ready for a new a fresh new week So if you missed last week's video, I put up a video of our dining room makeover. I will actually have it linked in the description. I don't think I could have asked for a better turnout, but I do have someone that I need to give a huge shout out for, someone I need to give some thanks to. If you guys are in need of some design or styling inspiration, go check out Inside Style with Jess. I will have her Instagram account linked in the description of this video, but she was the brains behind this transformation. She designed and styled the room. She's worked with a lot of people in our neighborhood, and while I was drawn to her, I was drawn to her because of how she works. I mean, number one, she does amazing work, amazing design and styling work, but she also specializes in affordable home design. So she likes to shop at stores like Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and that's really, really important to me. So she was the brains behind the dining room makeover. I had come across the modern furniture from Castlery that I really loved. I love that modern furniture, but I wanted to make for sure that it could flow with the coastal style that I have going on throughout my home. And so she was able to create and design and find decorations that made it all work. So you guys go check out her Instagram. Again, I'll have it linked in the description. I cannot say enough about her work. I've seen her share coupon codes. She'll share like if she's out shopping and she finds a really cool find, something rare, she sees something, she'll share it. And like, like I said, you, she'll just give you some really good ideas. Again, if you could go follow her, it would make me so happy because she deserves so much. She deserves so much love because of how talented she is. So please go check her out. Go follow her. Her Instagram is inside style underscore with Jess. And I will have that linked below. Tell her hi. Go say hi. She will love you guys. So go say hi. And yeah, she's great.
So how are you guys doing? I know that I think I need to ask that more now because I know during this time of the year there's just a lot going on. You know, everyone's extra busy. I was just looking at our December calendar and I'm like, man, we're going to be busy. It's all fun and good stuff, but it's just everyone's busy. You know, you're trying to get everything ready for the holidays and the end of the year. And then not to mention, there's just a lot going on with, you know, a lot of extra stress or maybe grief surrounding the holidays. So I hope you're hanging in there. I hope you're doing okay. Like I said, I've had a really tough week. Um, but I am positive and I'm feeling good about next week. So we'll see what next week brings, but I hope you guys are doing well. I truly, truly do. Yes, I found a camera just <laughs> laying on the floor of the bathroom, but I don't know why it was in there. <laughs> That's Avery's Polaroid camera. I'm guessing the twins had gotten it somewhere and it was in the bathroom. So here, I'm just going to quickly clean in here and I'm gonna take that little metal ring off because it was kind of gross and dirty. So I'm gonna do that and scrub it. So now it is time to go outside. Like I said, I was going to do this on the day, the first day that I was cleaning, but it was 23 degrees and I don't even think it did not get above freezing. So I knew that I could not use the hose if it was below freezing. So waited a few, few days. This was pretty warm for us considering I think this was, was this the first day of December? And I think we hit close. It was in the forties. And the sun was shining, so that was perfect. So I, we were just coming out here. We're putting the rug and the pot, the planter pots and all of that. We're going to put that in the garage. And then we're just going to take the furniture and kind of all stack it up against the house. We're going to cover it. Do not sleep on Walmart furniture, patio furniture. Number one, we love our patio furniture that we got this year. It's from Walmart. Wonderful, wonderful quality. And it also came with covers, which is important. We could put all of this in our garage, but we've always left our furniture outside. We've always covered it and it's we've never had an issue. So we're just gonna kind of stack it up there against the hall. And then after this, you're gonna see me go up front and clear, finally clear the pumpkin stuff and the fall stuff and clean the front porch. If you have been around for a while, you know that I am deathly scared of spiders. They freak me out. I can deal with bugs. Bugs don't scare me. Snakes, nothing scares me except for spiders. And 
I will scream like a baby. If you've been around for a while, you have seen me jump and scream so many times if there was a spider. And I'm bringing this up because it's so cold out that I don't have to worry about spiders because typically when I'm cleaning outside like this, especially when you get towards um, the porch, like where the, the porch meets the stone, that's where the spiders tend to hang out. And you in the summer or spring I won't get close and like I won't set down um, a doormat or a rug I will have Mike do that because I'm afraid spiders will come out <laughs> and get me so I usually have him do it but it's so cold out that the spiders are all gone so I don't have to worry about those spiders coming out for the winter don't sleep on walmart patio furniture we absolutely loved it this summer and it came with free covers which is amazing our last patio furniture we got from overstock it was more expensive it was a huge brand name and we had to buy our own covers and those are expensive so um mike's gonna put some of those mike's gonna put those in the garage but stay tuned for next summer because we are thinking so we've always wanted to do this we've always wanted to extend the patio like a step down um to go out and maybe put like a Rondeck chairs and a fire pit to be more of like a you know nighttime relaxation just kind of have like a different vibe if you guys you know if you wanted to sit around a fire we had thought about doing it with when the house was being built but we decided we wanted to at least house for a little bit at least one year to decide do we do we want it to go out this way do we want it to go out this way over to this side so we kind of wanted to wait so we're thinking next summer we'll do that um and we're also going to do landscaping so there will be more next year I'm kind of excited maybe some landscaping here make this look a little bit nicer extend the patio have a nice fire pit place we can roast marshmallows, make s'mores, and relax in the evenings if we just kind of want something different. If we don't want to be under, you know, the patio. So maybe next year, if not, we can do it the next year. We have plenty of years in this home, no rush. We'll just kind of see where we're at, how it goes, and all of that. So stay tuned, but kind of sad. It's all put away for the winter, but that's all right. Welcome back to some more cleaning. I am feeling slightly better today, but man, this sickness is just lingering in our household. I feel like since the first symptoms of the first person who got sick, which I think was Avery, we're probably looking at a month still that there has been someone in our house that has been sick. And even Avery and Emery have a lingering cough and it's been a month. It's so insane, so crazy, but I'm feeling good. I don't feel 100%, but I feel pretty good. So since the twins and Avery, for the most part, done with their sickness, I actually cannot wait to get into their rooms and strip their bedding and give them a good washing. And I think I'm also going to um, clean their mattresses as well. So I'm gonna go in there, be really careful when you're cleaning a mattress because you don't wanna get too much moisture because it can get trapped under the top of the mattress and it can create mold um, bacteria and all of that so you want to be really really careful about not getting mattresses too wet too saturated with any type of liquid so baking soda is a good deodorizer it's a good um, cleaner
So in the beginning part of the video, I kind of had alluded to it had been a rough week and it was just that perfect storm where everything went, seemed to go wrong. This is why I am cleaning blood stains out of bedding. I was washing the girls bedding just because everyone has been so sick that I really wanted to give them a good clean hot water using the the laundry sanitizer that is a laundry additive so you use it with laundry detergent same thing with oxyclean that is a laundry additive that i use but the blood that was a bloody nose um the puracy stain removal i got that off of amazon so in the description of this video i have one link that has most of the cleaning products and tools that i use in this video i like using that one link because if you go to it it will show you pictures of the products i'm using but anyways puracy stain removal so I still use my DIY stain removal recipe. It is phenomenal. It gets everything out, but sometimes you just need something quick. You need a spray and Puracy is amazing. Um, it actually did get the blood out that was on one of the twins bedding. It was not a fresh stain, but it also wasn't days old. I think I was willing to give it a try and not use my own stain removal because it was fairly new, so it did work. I can't say if it'll work on all blood stains because um, I know blood is kind of hard to get out, but it worked really well and got it all out. But yeah, we had bloody noses, we had sicknesses. Um, it's that time of the month for me, so my hormones are all over the place, but you know what? I just didn't want to get on here and just be like, it was a week, a wonderful week full of sunshine and rainbows because we all have those down times. Um, but things are leveling out for me hormonally. Everyone's on the um, feeling better, no more bloody noses. Things are just, you know, it's a new week. It will be a new week. And so, yes, that's what we're doing. Just trying to clean up after, I think we had sicknesses for almost over two weeks. So ready to get the house clean after all that sickness. you guys are staying healthy it just seems like everyone that I know is sick and it's nothing it's like not a fever it's just like this lingering cough that no one can get over and this I think this sickness went through everyone in our house and you guys I am not lying to you this is the first time ever we've had kids for almost nine years first time ever that everyone in our household has been sick we've never all been sick together of course the twins get sick a lot together Avery does not get sick very often and Mike never gets sick. First time we've all been sick as a family. Um, I'm sure it won't be our last, but yeah, that's why I feel like it just lingered. twins bathroom I'm gonna come in here and just do a quick clean um, it usually doesn't get too bad because the twins brush their teeth 
downstairs. Actually, most of the time, all three girls brush their teeth in the bathroom off of the kitchen because they'll come down, they'll eat, um, and they'll brush their teeth after that. So in here, it's really just before bedtime that they brush their teeth. Um, and I always get asked why we don't have a shower curtain because no one uses this right now. This bathroom will definitely be nice when the twins get older or when Avery doesn't want the twins using her bathroom, but right now um, they all shower or the twins take a bath in Avery's bathroom. And I just thought when we saw this layout, so with our builder, um, he had like maybe five or six different layouts that we could choose from. And this was by far our favorite for many reasons. And then when we found that there was a Jack and Jill, so you have two sinks, that's their bedroom. You have the playroom right there, which will eventually be one of the twins' bedroom when they're ready to separate. It's almost perfect that they'll share a bathroom and then Avery kind of gets her own so she can be separate from her little twin sisters. And it's just, it almost is just perfect for a set of twins and then an older sister. So um, right now the twins take a bath in Avery's bath. That's where Avery showers primarily. Sometimes the girls will shower um, together and our shower but right now they shower in Avery so we don't have a shower curtain here maybe in the new year I'll actually decorate this bathroom but I didn't want to get a shower curtain because then it's like when I go to decorate this bathroom eventually I'm probably going to get want to get something that will fit with whatever I'm decorating it with and it's just one of those things where it's like if we're not using this then there's really no need to buy someone. So that's why there's no shower curtain. But yeah, the girls do use this at night. Um, the bathroom at night, they brush their teeth in here. So I don't come in here very often, but you know, some toys always seem to migrate <laughs> from the playroom and then they just have you know, a random kid mess. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit. And So I need your help with some with a video idea. So let me explain. So I don't do this every month, but this is just an example. So you guys seem to really like the Sunday resets or the restocking videos. And I don't do those every month. It's usually every other month. And you guys really seem to like that. What's another theme or type of video that you would like to see that would be helpful and it would be reoccurring? So please like I know you guys like the organization videos, but I am going to do that after the first of the year number one and those aren't reoccurring yet yes you know I'll organize different areas of my home but I'm not going to do a bathroom organization video every month but what would be most helpful to you so like for ex another example I think last month I tried power hour cleaning so I think I did a video where I did like two sessions of a power hour cleaning um, when you're watching these videos what do you find the most helpful and what's like a reoccurring video that I could do every month or every other month that you could be like yes she put this type of video up and it's going to help me because of xyz so if you have any overarching themes for a video that would be the most helpful for you let me know because I just want to be able to help you guys in the best way possible I'm gonna be so
someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm. Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. All right, let's get to the high point and low point to the week, and you guys are gonna laugh at my high point. <laughs> Okay, so low point of the week is I've kind of alluded to this. There, It's just been a, an incredibly rough week. Like I said, a variety of reasons. I won't go into all of the reasons, but it was just, it was like one thing after another. And it all just kind of seemed to be, it was like a bunch of little things and a few bigger things that all just kind of like fell into one week. So it was a very, 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 very rough week. But... <laughs> The good part to the week, obviously there was a lot of, you know, good things. I got a lot of extra snuggles and hugs from the girls and um, our elf has been flying around at night and we know or our elf doesn't do anything too crazy. She just kind of flies around and surprises the girls every morning in a new spot. So that has been fun to watch. But the ultimate high to my week <laughs> is... I am in love with Jersey Mike's chicken Philly subs and I've been telling myself that when I'm having a tough day or a tough week I'm trying to find like those simple pleasures that I can do like ordering food or making my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe or having a drink at the end of the night like finding a like simple pleasure and I love the Jersey Mike's chicken Philly sandwiches. They're so good. I love a chicken Philly and they make the best. And I ordered one, was it, I think twice for dinner this week and maybe once for lunch. Overboard. I don't think I've ever ate out. <laughs> maybe in college. Definitely not recently. Have never eaten out that much in a week. Um, like unless we were on vacation, but it just made me feel so good that I'm like, I'm just gonna keep ordering my chicken fillies. So that is the high point to my week is Jersey Mike's chicken Philly subs. <laughs> if you haven't tried them, give them a try if you like fillies. Call me a wimp, but I feel like it's a workout when you're putting all of this bedding back together. But at least it's all done. Do actually use most of the time. This is why we invested in Betty's beds is because most of the time they sleep on top of the comforter. Um, sometimes if it gets really cold, they will get under, but most of the time they sleep on top and they'll just use like a extra blanket. Um, they have all their little blankets that they like. Most of the time that's what they use and they don't get under the covers, so. I try to keep on washing these blankets as much, but admittedly, it's probably not a good thing because they're still sleeping on there. I just don't wash it as often as I should, but they're clean and it feels good. All right, I am finally done. I'm gonna go ahead and put away all my clothes. I think it was in a recent video. I said we've just been not keeping up with our laundry routine like I like to do because I don't know, I think we've just I don't know what it is i think we've just been maybe a little bit busy extra lately but it's like that's every day right um so i don't i just i don't know what it is but we just have not been keeping up with laundry and then we'll have like three loads to do and then not only is it not fun to fold three loads of laundry but then you have all of this to put away and that's not fun either so i'm gonna force myself to do it now just so i can feel good and have it all done um but yeah 
I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for being here and sticking around to the very end. I know I say that every single time, but I just don't know how to express my gratitude for you guys coming and watching my videos. Not just even some of it or, you know, maybe even if it's just one a month, but if you're here at the end, I just, it blows my mind that you guys are here and you watch the entire video. And I just want you to know whether you watch one minute, one second, or all the way through, I appreciate you. And I appreciate you extra, <laughs> a little bit extra if you watch all the way to the end, because, um, I don't know, it's just, I'm grateful that you want to spend your precious time hanging out with me and I'm grateful for you. So especially during this time of the year, you know, you're reflecting on the year and how everything has gone and what you're grateful for. And especially when you have hard weeks, um, you know, you're just grateful for the people that are here. And um, so thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a fantastic week. I will see you guys next time. Bye.